Howdy friends and welcome to another great campground review. Today we're going to visit two hidden gems. Teal and Cimarrona campgrounds are relatively small and only two miles apart. To get to these campgrounds, you will be in Southwest Colorado. There you will travel to Bogosa Springs and look for the cutoff to Piedra Road, which is Forest Road 600 on the west side of town. You won't see any signs, but it turns out this area is referred to as Terry's Backyard, as my longtime friend Terry took me on a guided tour of this whole area near his home. You're gonna travel 16 miles and continue onto Forest Road 631, and it is a well-maintained dirt road that heads north. From there, you will continue past Bridge Campground, and at the Williams Creek Campground, you will look for Forest Road 640, and turn right, which will take you one mile further north to the Teal Campground entrance. Depending on the time of year, you will probably be treated to various mountain wildflowers like asters, columbine, and thistle, and you may see deer and elk as well. As you enter Teal Campground, you will be treated to a great view of Cimarrona Peak in the Wimanooch wilderness area, which is the largest wilderness area in Colorado at approximately 500,000 acres. There are 16 first come first serve campsites at Teal and each only has a picnic table, fire ring, there are vault toilets and potable water is available on a seasonal basis. And although it says online that you can pay by scanning a QR code, be prepared for the campground host to ask you for cash. Prices are listed on the website. Teal sits along the Williams Creek Reservoir, which is stocked with kokanee, salmon, and trout. Most of the sites are small, but there are some really nice ones if you enjoy the 8,400 foot altitude with great views of the lake, mountains, and amazing stars at night. Some of the sites like number five, picnic table is a little bit of a distance from the parking area. Sites number 9, 10, and 11 are some of my favorite. They are great sites with a view, and all of them are flat and accessible. Not a bad view, huh? Site number 14 was out in the open and there was a pretty good little hill up to the picnic table. You are totally off the grid in this area and it is a very peaceful and beautiful area. Leaving Teal, we're going to turn right on Forest Road 640 
and drive about two miles up the Cimarrona campground. You will pass this dispersed site and make sure you check the rules for dispersed camping in this area. There are some great views and dark skies at night up here. Cimarrona Campground has 21 basic sites just like Teal and some run along a creek. All in all, there are about nine flat sites that are nice, flat, and accessible. Some of the sites are overgrown and some of the sites are pretty rustic. I encourage you to refer to the campsite worksheet found in this video description and see which sites are shady and which sites are sunny, as well as any other notable observations. Sites number four, five, and six were nice flat locations. Here's one of the pumps where you can get potable water. Site number seven was a little rugged. And number eight was really nice. It was also flat and accessible. Sites number 10, 11, and 12 ran along a fence and there was a creek down below. I don't think it was very big. Site number 13 also backed up against the creek. You can see the fence way in the back. However, the parking area was up here and the camping area was pretty far back there. Site 16 was a little small, but it was a nice flat campsite and it was accessible as well. Well, that wraps up our time here looking at these two great campgrounds, which I think are some hidden gems if you like to be off the grid and just be surrounded by Mother Nature. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my next episode.
And until next time, so long. <laughs>